What's going on everybody, DeCoven Riggins here. Gonna give you a quick video on how to set up Dolby Atmos in DaVinci Resolve 17. And some key things to look for and to remember when setting up Dolby Atmos and when setting your project up. So let's just dive right in. First, make sure you go to your settings. In your settings, go down to the Fairlight tab and make sure that you enable Dolby Atmos first and foremost, all right? Once you do that, you will have access to Dolby Atmos, and this only works in DaVinci Resolve Studio version. So if you don't have a studio version, I'm sorry, it's not gonna quite work for you in this particular way. I did show this to you all before in, uh, the 7.1.2 surround video. Click the link in the top if you haven't seen that one. Um, but this is going to be geared more towards Dolby Atmos, specifically um, how to set all of this up. So once you do that, if you've if you've never set up your speaker system before, you can go to preferences, come to video and audio, IO. And here you can man manually configure and set up your speakers the way that you want. I have mine set up in a 7.1.2 configuration. And then you just go through and you assign your speakers. So I'm using the Scarlett 18i20. Um, whatever you're using should uh, pop up and populate. And then you just come in here and you select which speakers you want to use, right? To get that set up, click save and you're ready to go now of course if you have a render engine or uh, something to that effect you can go ahead and configure that here if you have a separate room control room you know studio B or something like that that you're listening from you can set all of that up here as well but once you do all of that you go ahead and click save and then you come in here and so I'm at a track and I'm in the Fairlight tab right now. So when I click Add a Track, I'm gonna add it below my last one. And right here, I can go ahead and set up my track. But let's say that I add the track and I don't add it as Dolby Atmos, right? I just add a regular track. Track number 50, it's in stereo. Well, if you right click on that track and you come down to Change Track type you can change it to and you have your Adobe Atmos here available to you so let's say you're doing a 7.1.2 setup so then you click on it then it changes the track but let's say you have a 7.1.2 track set up or let's say you converted a track so like if you look up here at my ambience 2 right it is set up in 7.1.2. However, my tracks here are not. So if I wanted to take this track right here and change it to a 7.1.2 setup, all I do is select it, then I'd right click, and I would come down to clip attributes. The track itself, or the audio clip itself is set in stereo. So I can come in here and change it to Dolby Atmos 7.2. And then it gives me the setup exactly the way I need it. And all I'd need to do, if I wanted to add it in any other specific speaker, is I just click and I can add either channel one or channel two. Once that's added, I click okay, and it would be set in that specific speaker. Now, why do my tracks this way? Why not just set up individual tracks like this here? Uh, you see my logo sound has all of these different speakers. Well, one of the things that you wanna do for me, this just makes it easier for me to deal with, is if I go ahead and get a track set up, the way that I just showed you and let's scroll up and utilize one of the
of these other 7.1.2 tracks. Uh, let's go. One of the things I can do is I can click on this track and I can convert to linked group. Now when I do this, it is going to make each individual track. As you can see, there are a bunch of individual tracks that make up this one track. 10 tracks to be exact for a 7.1.2. That is my seven surround speakers, one sub, and two overhead speakers. So now you see it broke it all down into seven, uh, my 7.1.2 into individual tracks. Left, right, center, my LFE, left surround, right surround, so on and so forth, as you can see. What you don't see is I still only have automation control over my left my left track right so how do I go and get this to give me automation control over all of the tracks what you want to do is go to your Fairlight tab link group and it's going to show you your link group all you then do select that group and unlink now where this is very beneficial to you and let me close this out let me go up here and turn off dual screen so let me show you something here where you don't have to then rack your brain on how to get the panning just right for each track we're gonna come down here now you see you have these tracks that all say main which I'm gonna have to switch here in just a second but all of these that say main are my new tracks for my explosion and as you can see now I have automation control for each track and if we look here at the panning, still got my left, my right, my center, my LFE, my left surround, my right surround, my left rear, my right rear, and then my tops, front and back, right? So it automatically pans all of the tracks exactly the way you need it, but it gives you individual control over each track. This will greatly expand the amount of tracks you have but the great thing about that is DaVinci Resolve can handle it. Fairlight can handle it. Um, in Adobe Atmos, what these are called individual tracks are objects. You want to make sure all of your objects are being fed into beds, which leads me to my next thing. As you can see, this one track here is, is in an FX bed. But the rest of these are going out of the main out. I don't want these going out of the main out. I want them all being pointed to this particular bed. So what do I need to do? I go back up to Fairlight. I go back up to Bus Assign. And then I scroll down to find my explosions that are set to B10, right? And that's 10 tracks that are set to B10. And what I need to do is I need to click on B10. And I need to go to those tracks and I need to begin to remove it. So if I click on this one and I just drag over, it'll remove those. And if I click on this one here and drag it over, it'll remove those. Now I need to replace this with my bed out. Same process, I just drag over. And I just drag over. And it's done. Now I have my tracks set and routed the proper way, 
we talked about routing in the last video if you haven't seen that video go click the link above we'll talk a little bit more about routing now so when you're routing out your Adobe Atmos setup you come up to Fairlight bus format as you see I got a lot going on got it color coordinated the way it needs to be and so your original one will be bus one and these all come in the form of buses but we're making these bus out so I, I named this one main and this is my Adobe Atmos 7.1.2 that's my main out and then I'll go down from there I, I did a 7.1 out by adding a bus and then clicking the drop down menu and then selecting the one that I want and I wanted a 7.1 on this one so I put 7.1 change this color added another 5.1 and a stereo all of these are my outs then I created beds same way you just add a bus and I want all of my beds to be 7.1.2 because I want them to all be able to feed in here and, and, and I never know exactly what I'm gonna do 100% with all of my audio so I have some clips on here uh, this is Black Wall Street burning the director's cut I have some clips on here in in my dialogue which is all of my dialogue tends to be direct center the center channel but I do have some some dialogue that floats around the room at a particular point in the film so that's why I'd set up a 7.1.2 because again if I want to be creative it's already set for me to do so once you get that set you click OK then you come over into Fairlight again Fairlight tab bus assign then you begin to assign and again I'm not gonna get into it too much on how you need to assign or how you need to arrange or order yours that's up to you but if you again watch the my previous video on routing you want to make sure that you're going on the out but again you want to set up all of yours to route out the way that they need to and then you want to set up all of your beds to push out of all of these outs that you set up again in the the bus format once you do that everything's routed the way you need it you have Adobe Atmos set up then as you go along as I am doing currently through this project is I am transforming all of my 7.1.2 tracks into a multi 10 track uh, output for this particular sound for each sound that I'm doing Adobe Atmos with again your objects are your individual tracks your individual tracks should feed a bed your bed then feeds an output this is how you uh, set your system up to feed Adobe Atmos now if you want to then make Adobe Atmos master you come down to immersive audio then you can export a master file what this master file will do is it will take all of your tracks condense them down into one file that you can then bring into any project timeline that you need to and it will have all of your dialogue your sound effects your ambiences and your music all in just the beds so you'll have for for me I have four channels of beds so I would have four channels of beds in my master which will all be 7.1.2 it will keep all of my metadata in as well and then this place is also where you would then import a master master file as well so again the process is uh, interesting to say the least but I believe DaVinci Resolve they the people over black magic are continuing to, to make improvements and making this a very easy way to work with Adobe Atmos um, last thing I'll say is once you do set these things up you can come over into immersive audio and then you will see 
all of your channels and objects within this space. And then you can also just look specifically at your beds if you want to as well. Um, but that is all I have for you today. If you have any questions, drop them down below. Like, subscribe, click the bell so that you get notified whenever we put out new videos. Make sure you personalize that bell so you get all of our new videos that are coming up. Again, Black Wall Street Burning, the director's cut is coming out soon. And yeah, I look to, to dialogue with y'all down in the comments. See you later.